Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we're going to use our Silhouette Cameo 4 Pro to do an HTV project on a t-shirt. So let's get to it. So about a year ago, we actually did a heat transfer vinyl shirt, but we're pretty limited to only cutting by hand. It was good for what we had, but I think we can do something better. So what are we going to attempt today? We're going to try some text today using heat transfer vinyl or HTV and cut the letters out using our Silhouette Studio and our Cameo Pro. And there's a bit of a process and we're going to walk you through that. So you right. ready to get to it? Let's go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our document properties set up. Okay, we are going to use our 12 by 12 cutting mat. How big do you think we'll be making the design? Something, something I'll fit on the shirt for you. And we're going to actually do just text that says keep calm and craft on. And then we're going to probably add our logo, right? Make it more personal. Yeah, absolutely. We actually have here, I'm just going to drag in and we'll add some text. Why don't we go ahead and just type out. So we'll just center this up and it should just be like that. Now I'll pick a font. Okay, so now what we need to do is break this apart. So we're gonna group it. We'll pick all these and we'll group these together. And I think if we just hit Command G, we can group each word together. So we do Command G. This way we can get the spacing between each word correct. All right, so now we can move that a bit closer. If this is a 12 by 12, we can actually make this a little bit bigger. Recenter all of these together. Okay, I'd be happy with that. What do you think? Yeah, I think that works. You don't think the font is too bold? No. All right, so next up we're going to trace this image out. So we'll go back to our, get this little loaf of bread or whatever that sign is here. Select trace area. And we're just going to trace our logo. And it looks like we have a good trace there. Trace it, and then we can pull a picture out. And it's pretty good. So now, what we need to do, because we're doing this on HTV and we need to reverse it, we need to reverse the letters. Otherwise, it will, it'll be backwards. So we're gonna go ahead and select all of that. And let's see, how do we reverse? We're gonna flip, there we go. I think we're ready to send it to the machine now. So let's get our machine ready and load it up. So the shiny side is actually the backing of the HTV that we can put our heat press on. So we're gonna make sure we put that shiny side down. Now we're going to go ahead and send it to the machine. It's our setup and we're going to go ahead and change our settings. First our material. I'll just go with heat transfer smooth. I think that's it. Ooh, this is pretty neat. If we forgot to mirror this, like flipping horizontally, there's a reminder based off of the setting that we have here. We haven't seen this before, but if you're using heat transfer, It'll ask you if you want to send it mirrored so that it prints out the way you need it to go. But since we already flipped it, we'll go ahead and send as is. I don't know if that went through. Nope, it didn't cut through. So it looks like we need to go deeper. We're not going to take it out because then we'll lose our registration marks. We're going to go ahead and just send that again a little bit deeper. Okay. 
All right, that looks like it actually cut through a little bit better. Actually, I don't think we wasted it. Looks like everything's cut in the same spot because we didn't take it out. So I think we're good to take this out now because it cut through. It's probably the easiest weeding we've ever had. I ripped the key a little bit. So will that mess it up? I mean, it'll be all right. Okay. So just to mention, we pre-washed this shirt to make sure that if it shrunk, we shrunk it before mm -hmm. we put the design on. So this is a pre-washed shirt. Yeah, we don't want it to shrink once we already have the vinyl because then it will kind of mess with it. And just trying to preheat the shirt so that the vinyl sticks to it nicely. I thought so too. <laughs> I wonder if he messed up his setting. Mm, looks like we could do a little bit more. Still kind of looks like it's a little proud. I'm just afraid the edges are going to start peeling up if we don't get it, the edges down a little bit more. So we need to let it cool for a while, but should we speed up the process and get this off? Let's get it off. So I think the shirt turned out pretty cool. I mean, it was really hard trying to get it cut and then we had a little mistake with the E, <laughs> but it turned out okay in the end. Yeah, once you got the settings down for that particular type of vinyl, which for us, it was turning up depth a little bit and turning up the force quite a bit. So we probably just selected the wrong type of heat transfer vinyl. So the, you know, our software wasn't matching up mm -hmm. with what the material was. But once we got that adjusted, which again, we didn't even lose any of the material. We just did it over again by not taking it out of the machine. It was res registered in the right spot. So we didn't waste anything. I did mess up a little bit weeding by doing it a little bit too fast. Probably could have cut that off into several pieces so we we didn't do that, but it's still okay. I mean, I guess the lesson learned here is that every vinyl is different, A, and B, when you're doing this, don't take it out of the machine when you're trying to get it to cut through. Because like we said, we saved our vinyl by not taking it out of the silhouette. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get money every single time we post a video. Stay crappy. And be happy. Bye.